Hey folks, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video review of the Canon PowerShot SD1200IS, a digital point-and-shoot camera with 10.0 megapixels, a 3x optical zoom, optical image stabilization, and a 2-inch LCD display on the very back. Although this camera came out a few years ago, it still remains a powerful contender if you're looking for top-notch performance in a compact camera. There are a few reasons why you might want to consider the PowerShot SD1200 over some newer cameras out there. For example, it's crafted entirely out of aluminum, which means it's very sturdy to hold, although it attracts quite a bit of scratching and dings, as you can see here. It comes in several colors. We have this bluish version here. It also comes in black and gray, and you can find it at a street price of around $60 on Amazon.com. The camera itself also features a traditional viewfinder in addition to the LCD display if you have uh, a need for a more manual uh, manner of focusing. Overall, you can see the camera is a bit more bulky than some modern day cameras, but performance is still top notch. Images are crisp, they're responsive, they're pleasing to the eye, and they're fairly accurate. The camera itself is also pretty fast in terms of performance, and we'll discuss that later on when we take a look at the UI. Taking a closer look at the design, on the very top you have access to the uh, autofocus sensor, and on the very top of the camera itself, there's a two-stage camera shutter key, zoom in, zoom out, power on off switch, and on the side you have access to uh, just the lanyard strap and also an AV out for connecting to a monitor. Very bottom features the battery door which contains the SD card. It supports up to 64 gigabytes, a tripod stand, and on the very back you have access to the mode selection key between video recording and images, a playback key for your media, five-way navigation toggle, display key, and a menu key. Now if I wanted to press on the display key, it also powers the camera itself on. You don't have to press on the power switch necessarily. You can see how the power up takes just a few seconds to complete, so this is a very fast performer in terms of the speed of day-to-day -day usage. Overall, again, we were really pleased with the image, image quality of this particular camera. You can see how images are vibrant, they're well saturated, and even in darkness, which this shot was actually taken in, the xenon flash is bright and doesn't really overexpose your subjects. So the result is really great for a small point-and-shoot camera of this caliber. Taking a look at the accelerometer, it means that you can rotate the camera's display and your images will automatically orientate themselves. And it's also pretty impressive because if you load your images into a computer, it automatically rotates it as well and has the settings to do that. Taking a look at how the actual performance for the camera works, I wanted to press on the power on off switch on the very top there. And overall, it's a very fast camera and also to focus and to take your images. It isn't a wide angle lens in the sense that it's gonna uh, capture the most in one frame of the photograph, but at the same time, you can get pretty close to your subjects and it still takes an image pretty impressively. Um, again, if you get too close, I would say closer than 10 centimeters, your images can take be a little bit more fuzzy, but if you are a fair distance away, maybe I would say uh, 50 centimeters, uh, uh, it does tend to focus pretty nicely. There's a green box that appears, and you can see how your images are sharp. It also includes a timestamp on the very bottom. As far as the interface is concerned, we've seen the same design going on through Canon's other cameras in the past. It's simple, it's easy to use, and relies on icons to tell you what mode you're in. We're in automatic mode right now, and on the selection key, we can turn the flash on and off. We can change between different manual focusing modes. The exposure, a self-timer for uh, selfies, and also pressing on the center brings up more modes for selecting through resolution. You can get all the way down to 0.3 megapixels. There's also settings for the ISO, auto balance, uh, scene modes, and also for the autofocus mode. On the very top right-hand corner, you find access so the battery inf information, the flash information, and the camera. The camera's battery performance on the SD1200IS is actually quite good. We received about a week's usage before we had to recharge the battery, and also in standby mode it lasted us about two to three weeks before we needed to recharge it as well. Recharging the camera's battery takes about three hours to complete, and you can see after a few seconds of inactivity, the screen automatically dims to conserve on battery life. So overall, the menu UI and the battery performance are both very strong, and they're nice. One of the more impressive aspects of this camera is definitely low light performance and also macro shots, as we showed you before. Uh, under darker environments, the camera still produces very accurate photographs, and if you are getting up close to your subjects, like a writing or some uh, objects on a table, it still manages to focus really nicely and quite fast, uh, which is something we can't say with all point and shoot cameras in the same price range. In terms of the video recording capabilities. You don't have 1080p quality, but you do have 30 frames per second, which is pretty nice. And the camera itself automatically focuses as you start recording your video, which is another plus. You can see that about you get about 35 minutes of a video recording with four gigabytes of SD card storage. So it's a little bit limited on the space and the compression side, but overall it also has a very good microphone located on the top, which picks up sound very nicely. And you also have a decent speaker as well to play back your media directly on the camera itself. We simply tap once to finish the uh, video. You can also zoom in and out during your video recording process. Uh, so a pretty nice design going on in that department. Pressing the playback key there, we can directly play back our media that we just recorded. 
devices as you start. And as you can see, the audio quality is indeed very strong, and you can zoom in and out and play back your videos in slow motion. I would say that the Canon PowerShot SD1200 IS is a very compelling point and shoot camera, despite not having the latest flagship specs. For example, you have a very fast camera in terms of performance, you have a great build quality, images are impressive to look at, and there's also an accelerometer, which is always fun to play around with. As long as you're not looking for the best camcorder for recording video, as long as you don't need a wide angle lens, then I think this is one of the better options to go with. Great image quality and great battery life as well. You can check out more details in our original review on our website. Thanks for watching this video here at OS Reviews. This has been the Canon PowerShot SD1200 IS 10.0 megapixel digital point-and-shoot camera.